Hello and welcome to the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of October 7th, 2020. As we all know, President Trump came down with COVID-19 last, late last week and early this week he returned to the White House. I've been on Monday. And they gave him an ex experimental antibody treatment. In other words, they gave him COVID-19 antibodies. That's an experimental phase. And the first thing he did when he got back to the White House was he took off his mask. Now, I don't know about the people he work around, but if I had a president that did that around me, I'd be like, yeah, I'm not coming back to work till you start wearing a mask. Because he's still contagious, basically. But besides that, I mean, as you also do realize, since we're talking about Trump, that uh, yesterday he canceled all the stimulus negotiations. Well, he basically changed his mind again. So I guess stimulus is back on. But he wants to pass three standalone bills to get this done. He, his first bill, he wants to pass for a second stimulus check for the people for $1,200. His third standalone bill would be for more a second round of paytech protection money and his uh third bill would be a bailout for the airlines now if you stay tuned i'll give you the exact dollar amount of the last two since we know what the first one's going to cost um on trump's choice he made yesterday actually i'm postponing this in his checks and him basically turning it back around I was saw on the uh, news earlier today that basically they do believe that this, the COVID that he has is affecting his his cognitive abilities to think straight. So they think that this COVID is basically making it so he's not realizing what he's thinking until after he spits it out of his mouth or puts it on Twitter. So they think his mental abilities are diminished because of COVID-19. But, like I said, on, on Trump's choice of postponing the um, stimulus talks, basically we have some Republicans that are saying that there's a huge mistake, and some Democrats saying that delaying the stimulus talks is very irresponsible of our president. And I do agree, it is very irresponsible of Donald Trump. And the Fed Reserve, based, uh, Jerome Powell, is basically saying that without more stimulus, that recovering from the vi the virus is going to be very slow, and is going to cause a lot, create a lo lot of undue hardship among the American people. Right now, the White House is basically aiming to create a plan to basically give a second stimulus check of twelve hundred dollars to the American people, do a twenty five billion dollar bailout to the airlines, and then a second round of paytech protection money valued at $135 billion. And Mark Meadows, Chief of Staff, basically Chief of Staff Mark Meadows and Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin are the people that are actually spearheading up this project. Because apparently Trump is very pissed at Pelosi because he believes that, uh, from what Mitch McConnell had said, is that Pelosi is playing games and stringing him along. When President Trump got COVID late last week, uh, it reignited the stimulus talks. Both Republicans and Democrats seem to be a bit more optimistic than usual, just because President Trump got COVID. When Tr President Trump, Trump stopped, uh, uh, sorry, when President Trump stopped the stimulus talks, Senate Republicans spoke up. Republican Senator Susan Collins said delaying the stimulus is a huge mistake. So we got a Senate Republican saying that it's a bit massive mistake. But we also have uh, Mitch McConnell, the Senate Republican lead, basically backing Donald Trump 100%, saying that he, he's right in what he's doing. I don't know what Mitch McConnell's problem is, but, you know, that's just how it is. The Democrats are saying that Trump's choice to is irresponsible and that he is neglecting the American people. However, Trump was playing the blame placing the blame on Nancy Pelosi completely and calling her out. And because he's basically saying that we offered a very generous one point six trillion dollar package and you rejected it, and they've done also all of our other packages we've offered. 
and so he's basically calling out Nancy Trump. <laughs> so, well, that's a, that's a new one. Nancy Trump, huh? Hmm. So he just changed her name from Pelosi to Trump? Will that work? Because she seems to be as stupid as he is. But I mean, Nancy Pelosi. <laughs> Trump says that $25 billion for airlines should be bailout is given for the bailout. $135 billion for a second round of PPP. And this, the funds will be coming from the unused money from the CARES Act. Now, if you remember in an earlier episode I talked about, Trump said how he found $300 billion that he was going to use to send out a second stimulus check to the people. And now that, and that money is also supposed to come from the CARES Act. Well, if he's taken out, what is it, $160 billion out of the CARES Act to fund the airlines in the second round of PPP, where's he going to get the replacement money to give out the second stimulus checks without allocating it from the Senate and getting it approved by both House and the Senate? And also, if you remember in an earlier episode than that, he promised a more grander and more dramatic stimulus check than the Democrats was giving us, and that it didn't pan out either. So basically, when it comes to him talking about these standalone bills, don't expect anything to happen, not even after the um, basic uh, elections, because he knows he also promised that. We're gonna, he said, we're going to stop all stimulus talks, and then after he wins, his exact words is, after I win the elections, we will pass a massive stimulus package. Well, let's put it this way. So far, he ha he's, he ha he's, he's 0 for 3. He struck out when it came to keeping his word about bigger a bit and more dramatic stimulus checks. He failed to keep his word when he was talking about a second stimulus check from the $300 billion he found. And now he just wants to dangle a carrot in front of your heads and lead you to the voting polls so you will vote for him. That's all the uh, more bigger, massive stimulus package that he was talking about. It, because that's not going to happen. We all know this. This is, this is Trump we're talking about. He don't care about the people. He only cares about himself. Well, Pelosi and the Federal Reserve Chair, Jerome Powell, both say that doing a bigger stimulus package would be more beneficial and would cause a lot less money waste than having to do smaller stimulus packages, which would cost more money than just doing one massive one. It would cause more waste for, waste for money. And what I, mean, I guess what they mean by that is, 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 as you see right now, we have $300 billion still, still in the CARES Act left over that they are trying to reallocate in many different ways. And I guess that would be wasted money, even though it's sitting there unused and can be, re and can be used for any purpose there is. So basically, uh, we, we got our hands left in Mnuchin and Meadows for the stimulus checks, pay, 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 pay tech protection money, as well as um, airline bailout. So let's see what happens with that. But until next time, you guys have a magnificent Wednesday and an excellent night. Please stay safe out there. And remember, we're all in this together. With the exceptions of Donald Trump. Bye.